In the realm of colossal man-made structures, dams stand as true marvels of engineering prowess. These colossal fortresses of concrete and steel not only tame unruly rivers, but also power entire cities and irrigate vast landscapes. But here's a burning question. Can you guess which megadam can hold the equivalent of over 14 billion cubic meters of water? As we journey through the world's top five megadams, stick around as we unveil these monumental feats and explore the fascinating stories behind their creation. Five, Oahe Dam. Nestled along the meandering Missouri River in South Dakota, the Oahe Dam stands not only as a magnificent feat of engineering, but also as a sanctuary for those seeking the harmonious embrace of nature. This colossal structure, stretching 245 feet high and spanning over 9,300 feet, is a captivating blend of human innovation and the serenity of nature. At first glance, Oahe Dam's sheer size is awe-inspiring, but its surroundings are also steeped in history. From the Arikara and Mandan peoples who once inhabited the region of the Lakota Sioux Nation, the shores of the Missouri River have witnessed centuries of human existence. The Oahe Dam acts as a formidable guardian against the relentless forces of nature, offering flood control to protect the lands downstream. It is a powerhouse in the truest sense, and with a capacity to store excess rain and snowmelt, it ensures a steady and reliable water supply for agriculture and daily life. Yet, Oahe Dam is not just about engineering excellence. It's a place where nature thrives, beckoning wildlife enthusiasts and bird watchers. From high-octane activities like boating and skiing to the tranquil serenity of paddleboarding and kayaking along secluded bays and shorelines, there's something for everyone. Historical sites, including military forts and the resting place of the legendary chief Sitting Bull, beckon history enthusiasts to embark on a journey through time. Interestingly, the dam spillway designed for extreme situations, boasts a jaw-dropping capacity of up to 304,000 cubic feet per second, although it remains unused for now. 4. Houtrib Dijk In the Netherlands, where water and land coexist in a fragile balance, one engineering marvel stands as a testament to human ingenuity, the Houtrib Dijk. This remarkable feat of innovation, initiated in 1956, was born from the need to safeguard the Dutch lowlands from the relentless forces of water. But what began as a protective measure evolved into a multifaceted symbol of technological prowess. Constructed in 1956, the initial purpose of the Hau Tribdijk was to reclaim the Marker Meer and create the Marker Waard. However, Economic considerations led to a shift in focus towards protecting southern Flevoland. The already existing Leelstad Einsgrosendijk offered a level of security in case of an Afslutdijk breach. The construction of the Hau Tribdijk proceeded in phases. The first four kilometres were completed in 1959, with funding challenges causing delays in awarding contracts for various sections. In 1975, the Houtrib locks near Leelstad opened, and the final breach in the dike was closed. Subsequently, a road was constructed atop the dike, complete with a cycle path and bus connection, catering to an expected daily traffic volume of 5,000 vehicles. But what makes the Houtrib dike truly remarkable is its role in water transport. It features several options for ships to pass through, including the Krabbesgat Naviduct, Krabbesgat Slusen at Einkusen and Houtrip Slusen at Leelstadt. These engineering marvels allow for the smooth passage of vessels, contributing to the region's trade and commerce. 3. Fort Peck Dam Located in the vast landscape of Montana, the Fort Peck Dam is indeed an engineering marvel. Stretching for 134 miles, with a shoreline spanning over 1,500 miles, Fort Peck Lake 
created by the dam, is not your typical body of water. It's a multifaceted wonder of modernization. Built just west of US Interstate 2 and south of Glasgow, MT, the Fort Peck Dam is a remarkable structure, comprising an earthen embankment, an outlet tunnel, two powerhouses, and 16 gates on a concrete-lined spillway to the west of the dam. In typical conditions, the US Army Corps of Engineers, USACE, releases water through the powerhouse, harnessing it for power generation, while maintaining reservoir levels for a multitude of other uses. But when flood risks loom, the dam's operators shift their focus to flood control. Water is then released through the outlet tunnel, and if necessary, additional releases are made through the spillway gates. Construction of the first powerhouse began in 1941, but faced delays due to World War II-related material shortages, and it wasn't until 1951 that it was completed. Subsequently, the second powerhouse was finished in 1961, and today, the dam generates an annual average of 1.1 billion kilowatt-hours of electricity, enough to power a town of 100,000 people. Nevertheless, Fort Peck Dam holds a rich history. It stands as the first dam constructed in the Upper Missouri River Basin, an area previously explored by Lewis and Clark in 1804. The old Fort Peck trading post, built in 1867, witnessed steamboats navigating the river until it succumbed to the river's relentless flow at the turn of the century. Today, Fort Peck Dam and the town of Fort Peck serve as living remnants of this bygone era. Many historic buildings, some listed on the National Register of Historic Buildings, still stand, preserving the echoes of a distant past. 2. Ataturk Dam in the southeastern region of Turkey, a monumental achievement in engineering and water resource management, the Ataturk Dam, originally known as the Karababa Dam, was renamed in honor of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the first president of Turkey. Construction on this monumental project commenced in 1983, harnessing the mighty Euphrates River in Bozova. The Ataturk Dam had two primary objectives to provide irrigation water and generate power. Throughout its construction, spanning from 1983 to 1990, the dam cost an impressive $1.25 billion to complete. The dam's first two power units started operation in 1992, and it achieved full operational status in December 1993. The State Hydraulic Works is responsible for overseeing this ambitious project. Ataturk Dam also plays a pivotal role in the Southeastern Anatolia Project, GAP, a vast and comprehensive initiative designed to foster sustainable development. GAP comprises an astounding 22 dams, 19 hydroelectric power stations, and an intricate network of irrigation canals spanning the Euphrates, Tigris, and Upper Mesopotamia basins. The significance of the Ataturk Dam within the context of GAP cannot be overstated. It is anticipated to supply water to an astonishing 1.8 million hectares of land and generate approximately 7,476 milliwatts of power. Once completed, GAP is expected to double Turkey's irrigated land, significantly boost hydroelectricity production, increase per capita income by 50%, quadruple the gross national product, and employ an impressive two million people. 1. The Tarbella Dam Nestled in the scenic landscape of Pakistan, the Tarbella Dam was completed in 1984 at a cost of $1.49 billion. It's the world's largest fill-type dam, and the second largest in terms of reservoir capacity capable of holding a staggering 11.62 million acre feet, 14.3 billion cubic meters of water. Overseen by the Water and Power Development Authority on behalf of the government of Pakistan, the Tarbella Dam was constructed as part of the Indus Basin Project, a critical water control initiative addressing Pakistan's water management challenges. Key components of this colossal dam include an earth and rock fill structure on the Indus River and a power plant. 
the main embankment, stretching 9,000 feet at its crest and reaching a maximum height of 470 feet, requiring an astounding 138 million cubic yards of fill material. Two auxiliary embankments on the left bank support the main embankment, one reaching a height of 345 feet and the other standing at 220 feet. The dam boasts two spillways, a service spillway equipped with seven gates and a discharge capacity of 650,000 cubic feet per second, cusecs, and an auxiliary spillway with nine gates capable of discharging 850,000 cusecs. The Tarbella Dam Reservoir's catchment area spans 169,600 square kilometers, with a maximum depth exceeding 450 feet. At its maximum elevation of 1,550 feet, it can hold up to 11.62 million acre-feet of water, with 9.68 million acre-feet being usable. Water is primarily stocked during June, July and August, coinciding with peak flows in the river. The Tarbella Hydroelectric Power Plant, situated on the right side of the main embankment, boasts an impressive total installed capacity of 3,478 milliwatts. This power plant features 14 generating units, and water is supplied from outlet tunnels 1, 2, and 3. What do you think of these dams? Did we miss any on our list? Well, tell us in the comments.